Okay, so I'm going to start off with the basing of the Nightbringer. And I'm actually showing you this on the deceiver because I already, as you can see in the background there, based it the Nightbringer. But all you do is just use some white glue, any type of white glue, and I'm going to spread it out. And then I'm going to dunk the base into the sand, which will cause the sand to stick. And this is just the, probably the most basic basing you can do, actually. But uh, as you see here, just I use just an old brush, doesn't have to be anything new, and get the sand on it. And then once the sand is dried on that, I'm going to go ahead and spray the whole thing with Corax White. And that's going to be my base color to start with. Here is a close-up of the base after the glue has dried and all of the sand is stuck in place. So the next step I'm going to take Pterodon Turquoise and I'm going to use this and this is a contrast paint I like using the contrast paints but I'm going to use this to paint all of the robes so all of the robe part that's going over the Nightbringer um, the stuff that's hanging down on his arms, the sleeves are all going to be paid, painted with this Pterodon Turquoise now this is going to be used as a base underneath another color that will go on top of it uh, so that it can show through and give that turquoise look. I'm only going to go part way down the main robe at the bottom there because the very bottom is going to be blended into red eventually. So I only need the pterodon turquoise down about halfway on the robe. So as you can see here this is the finished result and uh, moving on to the next color. Now continuing to add all of my base contrast colors, I got Wildwood here and this is going to be the base color or actually the color, the finish color of the sickle's handle because I wanted to make, make it look like it's an old type of wood that's been around for um, years and years. So that's just a quick coat of Wildwood onto the handle of the sickle. Now I'm going to use some black Templar contrast paint and this is um, straight from the bottle and this is going to go over the body of the Nightbringer. Now this is going to give me a nice dark base coat on the Nightbringer so the Nightbringer, Nightbringer's body is going to be pure black while its robe is going to have a color of black with a hint of turquoise underneath it. And just take your time, nice smooth strokes, and uh, if you go over a little bit, it's not the end of the world, but I try to keep it as neatly as possible uh, within the body and not onto the robe if I can avoid it. Now using a mixture of Black Templar and Contrast Medium, one-to-one -one mixture of this, I'm going to paint the entire model with that mixture. And this is going to include all of the turquoise parts, and all of the black parts of the body again going over everything to help blend it together. The only thing I won't touch is the wooden part on the sickle or any part of the sickle and I'm also going to leave the base alone where the red is eventually going to go into uh, on the bottom of the robe. Now the next color I'm going to use is another contrast and it's Blood Angel Red. Now I'm by no means an expert on blending colors so this is in fact my first experiment with it but um, you want to just take your time and get light coats but this particular coat is going to go on the very bottom and blend it up over the turquoise just like I used the uh, black templar over the turquoise now I'm going to use the blood red over the turquoise so I have a slight bit of turquoise showing through and then as it goes further down it's just a solid red Now that the first coat of Blood Angel's Red has dried, I'm going to add another light coat over that same coat and blend it down just a little bit more from the black into the red that's already painted. And this is I'm going to go over this while it's wet with another color at the very bottom here in a sec. Okay, so with my Blood Angel Red still fresh and somewhat wet, I'm going to apply some Flesh Terrors Red. And this is going to be my bottom red at the very bottom of the um, cape here to give a nice solid red color at the very bottom. So my hope is eventually to be able to blend this all in going from the black to the red with the purple undertones to the lighter red to the very dark red at the very 
Now for this coat, I'm going to combine some of the Black Templar, a little bit of that with the Flesh Terrors Red, and some Contrast Medium. And about equal mix. I think I was a little bit lighter on the black. But um, once I applied it, I realized that I probably should have went a little bit lighter, maybe added uh, two parts Contrast Medium to one part paint. But uh, this is to help blend everything together, to start blending from the black to the red. And it's going to darken everything up, which is what really I wanted because I, I do want the Nightbringer to look sort of um, old and dark and sort of absorb light type of look. So uh, that's sort of what I'm going for. So you can see here that I'm just applying this to blend it to the bottom and help bring that red down a little bit at the bottom because I don't want that red super bright, but I do want it to be a solid red. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a thin down wash. And this is going to be our last um, coat to sort of blend this. We still have a pretty solid line there. I'm going to blend that a little bit more. And then back here looking pretty good. But we'll uh, we'll just do a little bit right in here. And smooth that out so that goes from the black, black and teal down to the red. So... So what I'm going to do is put a few drops of this into here, like that. We're making a very thin wash, so I'm just going to take just a brush full of the black and then mix it on in. It looks like it's going to be a very thin contrast. Drag it from the top on down here sort of concentrating at this point where we want the blend to happen. I think that's the only area that I need to blend here. Oops, let me get that in screen for you. Let me focus a little bit better. There we are. But uh, yeah, so I just want to blend to change those lines a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of dry brushing on the body parts here. So I'm going to use Necron Compound for that. And this is actually a assortment of blush brushes that I got. That's what this one is. And I want to get this brush really, really dry. So I want to make sure that I have very little paint on it because I don't want to go fast. And I also want to keep it on certain parts of his body. So I don't want to get it anywhere near. So I want to keep it off his clothing and just mainly get the highlights of his body. Nice slow process. It's better to sneak up on dry brushing than it is to, unless you really, really feel conf confident with it. But I like to sneak up on it. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up sky gray uh, from Vallejo's model colors and a Citadel layer, layer color, Evil Sun Scarlet. And one to one mix here to give me a little bit lighter red. And what this is going to be used for is for some highlights on the red part. So uh, I don't need a lot of highlights because I do want to look dark, but I do want some. So along the sharpest edges, I'm just going to put little bits of highlights there with this color. So now it's time to start working on the blade. And I'm going to use uh, the base color Iron Warriors. And I'm going to apply that to the sickle part, the metal part of uh, the sickle. And nothing really fancy there, just a nice clean uh, layer on there to give it that metal look. And I find that the Iron Warrior really gives it an older metal look, like uh, not really a rusty old metal, but just a metal that's been around a long time. So I'm going to start working on the base now. And for the base layer, I'm going to use Doom Bull brown and this is going to be my uh, color for the sand and the rock that uh, he's up on uh, everything except for the scarabs there 
Now I'm putting this into my holder because that's going to make it a little easier to work on the base there rather than holding it right at the edge. So I just apply this color rather liberal all the way around uh, everything that needs to be that brownish color which like I said is everything except for the scarabs just about. So now I'm going to dry brush the base with Sigma Right or Mar Right. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. But um, this is just a dry brush, a uh, nice light dry brush. It's actually going to be a little bit heavier than uh, uh, the dry brush I did on the body of the Nightbringer because I do want to get some uh, some decent highlights here. But I found this color seems to be a nice color. It's sort of a, a goldish actual color, goldish brown. So I think it adds a lot to the base and to the sand that's around the Nightbringer and the rocks that he's up on he or she I don't know if it is a he or she uh, that the rocks that it's going up on so again just a, a nice I wouldn't say light it's a little bit heavier of a dry brush because I do want some color to come out on it but I don't want to overwhelm it at all so while I'm waiting for the base to dry I decided that I wanted to add a little bit of blood to the sickle so I'm using the Citadel technical color which is blood for the blood god and uh, I mean what better color to use for blood on a sickle than blood for the blood god and this actually does come out looking really nice like it's old dry blood on the sickle which is uh, kinda sick and cool in its own way but I just make some nice easy strokes from the edge of the sickle as if it was cutting through something and it got uh, bits of blood scattered on it so kinda gross but pretty cool to look at when it's done. Heading back down to the base now I want to paint my scarabs and I'm going to use lead belcher for um, their shells. So I'm going to paint all of that with the lead belcher. Just a nice even coat, nothing special there. After the lead belcher dries I go over it with Reichlin Flesh Shade Gloss and this is going to add sort of a goldish reddish hue to the silver which is uh, what most of my Necron army has on it and I like that color it's sort of a like a coppery color I guess coppery silver maybe is what it ends up in so everything just gives a liberal coat of Reichland flesh shade gloss The scarab legs and claw and bodies are going to get a coat of Abaddon black, and that's just going to separate those from the shell, the lead belcher color shell. For highlights on the legs and part of the body and some of the head, I'm going to use Canoptic Alloy uh, Citadel layer paint, and this is going to give it a bronze. Um, goldish color for the highlights on all the legs. So it's just a simple quick highlight. I don't do much in the way of highlighting but I do want to separate out the legs with some uh, color there. Now I'm bringing up my wet palette because I do like to put the paint on a wet palette and mix in a little bit of water just to thin it down for highlights. I don't like to use uh, just straight paint out of the container there for highlights. I like to have it thinned down and just very little on the brush. It's almost sort of like a um, heavy heavy dry brushing effect uh, that I'm trying to achieve because I'm I'm not really good at highlighting things so I want to use as little paint as possible uh, when I'm highlighting that way I don't mess it up finally the eyes on the scarabs need to glow a little bit so I'm using tesseract glow which is a citadel technicolor and I'm just gonna put a nice little drop on there now if you really wanted to after that dried you could add a little white highlight to the one side of the eye to give a sort of that glimmer but um, I find that just this is fine and this will actually finish up my Nightbringer now I'm not making this thing I'm making this Nightbringer mainly for using in combat or on the tabletop so I'm not worried about having it to be you know an award-winning model but I think the paint job came out really nice on it and the last thing I'll do which I, I did off camera actually is I will add 
black around the base which you'll see on the finish reveal of the Nightbringer. Alright so here's my finished Nightbringer and like I said it probably won't win any painting awards but I think it came out pretty cool and it looks rather nice on the battlefield. So if you like this type of uh, content please do like and subscribe and leave me any comments below. I like hearing from you and what you guys think about the job that I do here but uh, this Nightbringer now is ready for the table and I think that it should scare my opponents quite a bit just by the sheer look and the attack abilities that this thing has. Thanks for watching.